And I guess for me, like, having a really satisfying end to a game is actually incredibly important. You know, the... I guess I'm always, like, uh... I guess I'm always super adverse to uh, stuff like Lost. I don't know how many of you guys saw Lost ever or when it was airing or anything like that. But Lost was one of those shows that, like, it was gripping, but it told nothing. The story was not exactly non-existent, but it, it had so many holes in it that it would have almost required being double length just to actually fully... Uh, you know, fully explore and explain, like, what the heck anything meant. And it sucked a little bit, because I actually liked the idea of it. I think I saw the entirety of the first season of Lost, and then I kind of lost interest towards the, uh... Towards the season finale of the, uh, the first season. And then my parents kept watching, and I dropped by occasionally between, like, playing video games. And... I honestly can't tell you what happened. And I would like go and talk to them and be like, hey, like what happened here and here? Or like to so-and-so and my parents would be like, eh. they, they just haven't talked about them again. And it was confusing. And yeah, so Lost, I guess, ends up reminding me of, of my own writing style. Which is, fly by the seat of your pants and hope you don't make too many plot holes. Which, like, I, I can kind of respect, but, like, if you get that popular, you gotta sit down and figure that stuff out in a hurry. Otherwise, people are gonna be confused. Mad. Right, let's, let's just keep leveling up for the time being. So, 5% more attack speed, or start going for wisdom. Let's keep going attack speed. Let's become silly. Uh, let's see. Can I get quick slash up in this? That could be kind of fun. My range might not be great, but eh, we'll see. Okay, so I'm out here now. Wow, oh, that's convenient. Hello, Hive. I am here. I wonder what my actual attack speed is like this. I'm a vigorous aggressor. Can you handle me? No. I didn't think so. Well, except for this B. Bad angle. So there's a boss here now. I will have to keep that in mind. Shouldn't be bat that big of a deal, though. I like the idea of this section. Let's see. Anything here? Nope. Come at me, beelings. You can't handle me, though. If only uh, EDF had bees this cute. Now, oh. What if I can, like, knock those guys out of the air or something? With enough turbo slapping. Give me my bench. I gotta do things. Hopefully this counts uh, as Kingdom's Edge so I can actually fill out the map. The answer is okay, good. It does. I don't remember if this area is good EXP or EXP. Good Geo or not. So we'll find out as we go along. The little guys definitely aren't good Geo. As loath as I am to admit, the, the bounce the bouncing guys 
in Kingdom's Edge are amazing Geo. No bouncing zone. Get out of here. Get out of here, bees. Whee. Now, there's like a behemoth, like an even bigger bee than the than the just spinner guards, if I remember right. I want to say. Yep. Nope. I want to say that's the case. It's been a while. See, Geo is kind of EXP. Yeah. No, I know. It's just like, I should be kind of specific here, because it's not, it's not like there is an RPG leveling system in this that, like, involves actual... Woo, I lost myself hard in that. Uh, I think I've lost him. Never mind. Holy crap, that's in Pathfinding. Well, I guess it's not that big of a deal, but still. I was actually thinking about this. I wish more games almost had kind of this RPG system. Just pretty basic. Nothing... Nothing too, like, strenuous or complicated or anything like that. I mean, I do prefer more complicated things. I really appreciate the fact that I can just choose what stats I put points into. Uh, and, you know, it's the concept of a, a game that doesn't need RPG leveling, that has RPG leveling is actually shockingly compelling to me. Um, but, you know, I was talking about Blow and not really enjoying it that much and getting wrecked by things. And, like, realizing that, yeah, if Blow actually had, like, a basic leveling system kind of like this, I wouldn't mind it. And I don't think it would make the game feel, like, bad either. So I'm missing... Stuff, aren't I? No, never mind. I think we got it. Yeah, we did get it. Hardened Tribe, Light Familiar. Yeah, I didn't know if I'd uh, filled out the tree or not. Hello. There's the behemoth. Well, they don't live long. Yeah, the other reason why attack speed over just raw damage might be a good idea for me is... Uh, the extra soul I get uh, from multiple attacks as opposed to a single one is kind of nice. I think I'd still prefer uh, occasional slow hits as opposed to quick fast attacks in this game just because it gives you more time and you're less likely to just like Rambo. At the same time, Ramboing is uh, pretty effective. Is this a shortcut out of here? It is. Puppies. Bye. Okay, the answer is, it's okay, Geo. It's not, it's not amazing Geo compared. If the little guys gave just a smidge of Geo, it'd be okay. But I guess they're, I, they're too weak. I'm not actually sure how I'm supposed to deal with these guys. I guess get them locked in the corner. Yeah, they're worth... They're worth some... some mad Geo. Ah. Yeah, this isn't... Uh, so one of the problems is I'm getting this game mixed up a little bit with Sundered. Because uh, that was the last Metroidvania platformer I played. Uh, Sundered has a really cool system where if you hit an enemy with a f uh, regular attack... You actually um, regain all of your jumps, uh, which means you can do like all sorts of crazy aerial combos that you can't in this game, and that's actually a bit of a shame. Just 
There's more to this place. I know it. Where, though? Not here. Uh... Up? This is not here. Back in the other room, up top. Oh, did I go down? Let's see, I thought you got your dash and double jump back when you nail jumped. Uh, you know you might. But only when you nail hop. And in Sundered, it- oh, here it is. In Sundered, it's just any hit from any angle. And that makes actually a fairly massive difference when uh, getting around, kind of, sort of. There we go. There goes the big B. Yep. 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 Let's see, dream nail a B. Oh. Eh. Yeah. I don't know. I think I might want to come back for that or something. The problem is even the little ones come after me. Not great at that. Well, I guess I'm just over here. Hello. How's it how's it going? Let's see. Anything else? Get out of get out of my get out of my hair, bees! I've only ever been stung by a bee once. And then a yellow jacket once. The bee sting hurt a lot worse, but that's because it stung me in the jugular. That was not fun. Because, yeah, not only was it right in a bad, bad place, but, uh, yeah, the venom goes. I mean, it's not much of a venom. It, it, even... I don't even remember if it's, like, much of a venom or anything. It's just, like... Shit hurt, and it made, like, the rest of me feel real weird for the rest of the day. I... no matter what, this is awkward. Okay, I want to kill him before I go after the big guy. For sure. Okay, there goes there goes big guy number two. That was bad. This area is rough. I'm not very good at fighting these bees either. I'm not, I'm not really in full, uh, I'm not really in full, like, reflex mode at the moment. So, like, dodging big dudes? Kinda not easy. Not terrible, but it's like, eh. I'm lazy, I don't wanna. We're on the wrong side for that thing. I guess we'll have to figure it out once we get the, the map out. Okay, so still got a bee queen somewhere around here. I wonder if we get a bench first, but probably not. Oh, you need to break the wall with a big bee. Got it. 
Okay, we'll get that after the queen boss. Oh! soul yet. And I'm dead. Nope. Okay. I'm not taking opportunities to hit him. I'm just taking opportunities to heal. Dang it. Ah, there I go. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not built for boss fights right now, so unfortunately it makes this a little bit tougher. And he's also one of the only bosses I've never seen before, because guess what? He's new. Uh, shouldn't be that big of a deal, but yeah, his dash has got a lot more range than uh, I'm used to. And yeah, he's a little bit more aggressive. And yeah, you take that much damage early on, you're like, I gotta heal. Because uh, I was down to one mask, the only thing, the only reason why I hadn't lost a little earlier in that fight was entirely just due to... I should probably respec, honestly, but whatever. Long nail might not be a bad idea. A couple of different things might not be a bad idea. We'll see. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Oh! I didn't get him. That was unfortunate. Now the one problem with the health bars is I'm reliant on them telling me... when an enemy is dead or not. These, one of those drill bees is gonna come my direction. Land right up in here. Yep, there he is. Well, beauty part is... That's horrifying, by the way. Imagine if your butt unfolded into a giant flesh drill. That's horrifying. Let's see, what build do you think would be better for bosses? Uh, one of resilience. Some amount into luck and dex. And then otherwise just nothing but, uh... Nothing but strength. So... Part of it is, like, the game doesn't exactly, uh, the game doesn't really encourage, uh, re repeated quick hits on bosses most of the time. There's a couple of bosses that, like, quick hits are absolutely worthwhile for. But, like, most of it is, is very, very based around, like, hit once or twice get into a, a safety spot.
And then, uh... And then wait for your next opening. And, sorry. These big bees hurt, and I don't want to lose. Because I had thousands or, thousand or so Geo just kind of sitting around back there, and I don't want to deal with it. Okay. Uh, or I don't want to, I don't want to lose it. So, you know, for the most part, you want to build entirely around hitting them once. The main problem is just, uh, you know, with decks and a couple other, well, I mean, really just like the, the decks and the quick attacks, uh, most of my damage is sunk around hitting them uh, repeatedly. And yeah, if I really want to... If I really wanted to have, uh, like, a good anti-boss build, it would actually be much, much better if, yeah, I just went... Maybe not full glass cannon, because you don't want full glass cannon. Because full glass cannon gets you, uh... Full glass cannon gets you killed real quick. Come on, I'm over here, Titan B. There we go. There's that. Now, is this a shortcut as well? I certainly hope so. Because, yeah, if I can open this up so I don't have to walk the entire way next time I die, yeah, that's better. That's much better. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, they can chase me. They can chase me in here, but they won't follow me through another st screen, so we're good. Come here, me. I got my soul back, too? No. Alright, whatever. Time for round two. This time, much more cowardice. I more or less know what his pattern is. Shadow Dash would be lovely. Oh, dang it. Being able to dash through his charge would be nice. Nice part is his hitbox is... Ha! Ah, I keep trying to dash through him. Yeah, I'm dead. Let's try that again. Uh, I got hit by those bees early on, and it's rough. Okay, so we gotta... We gotta rethink our charms. Mainly because they're not helpful. These are not... These are not charms useful for what I'm doing. Now, we could do... We could do this. I'd like to go for a full caster build at some point. I really should probably just do that. Well, let's go. Let's just go pure raw range. That might be a good idea. Also, thank you, Grove, for the 18 months resub. Another month, another potato. Actually, I uh, made some potatoes the other day. We were, uh, oh, what was it? 
I don't remember why we'd sliced up potatoes originally, but, um... What was that? Oh, moussaka. We were making moussaka. And then we just had, like, a whole spare potato that I'd cut up and had, like, no immediate use for. I'm just bull rushing these guys. Uh, and so it's just like, all right, what do we do with the potato? I don't know. Chuck it in and out in the oven. Uh, you know, they're already in, like, nice little potato slices. So I decided, uh, I just have, like, not fries. They're pretty good. They're old, but, I mean... Potatoes last pretty dang well, even when old. And I am not acing this platforming at all. Right, what? Oh. I bet my controller's having connection problems again. Every once in a while, I'll, like, press the dodge button, and it will not. I really am not a fan of wireless. Like, I've always been much more of a give-me-wires kind of guy. Uh, originally, when I was a kid... Let's see, we want to go over this way. Moussaka, the Greek dish? Yeah, you can have moussaka with a potato. Uh, it's pretty good. I think we're having... What was it? It was... it wasn't Greek moussaka, it was, a, it was a different regional variant. That's all I really remember about it. Lamb, pumpkin, potato. That was pretty good. I don't know. I liked it. Okay. Oh. My pronunciation was throwing you. I see. Oh, freak. Oh. You can... You can interrupt his long charge. Damn it. I really hate contact damage. It's just not fun? <sighs> I... I don't know. Maybe range isn't what I need. Maybe, maybe I should try something completely different. I mean, it is really tempting to actually just pop a rancid egg and try and try and respec hard here. How many rancid eggs do I have? Probably a lot. I got twelve. Let's try something new. Oh no. Okay, we're good. Okay, it's not worth it. Yeah, we got all of our Geo back. Okay. That's better. Yeah, I can also buy more rancid eggs. Let's see, Balder, Shell, and Jody's Blessings are two must-have charms. Kind of, sort of, yeah.
There's some other things we can do here. Or soul, soul eater. No. I had another soul one. Alternative idea. Let's try this. I don't know if it's a good idea, but this is going to be kind of fun. They don't do that much damage, unfortunately. So I don't actually know if this is a bright idea. Right, we want to go. We want to go to the right. The spiders attack, right? Because like the little summons definitely do. I gotta get that charm badge. But yeah, we're going to try doing a minion master build here. It probably doesn't do as much damage. Yeah. I'm feeling like uh, going caster might not be the might not be the way, but it certainly feels like minion master is pretty fun. Dang it! Part of the problem is I just can't tell what the hell's going on too. And yeah, I just don't do enough damage myself. To to take out the uh the big bees. Maybe Yeah, it might be one of those where Let's see, one of the ones that summoning things synergizes with Grub Song. Interesting. Um Because, yeah, they might do more damage. Weaver Song and Glowing Womb are Defender Shell, Grub Song, and Sprint Master. Maybe one or two more. Okay. So why don't we go get our soul back from over here? And then I think I'm going to try respecking again. So part of the problem is I don't have enough notches. And it seems like uh, my raw damage took maybe too big of a hit. Is this just the entrance? I think this is. Because, yeah, the problem is even the most basic uh, bees poses, like, a major threat to me. But maybe if I went pure strength instead of even trying to go... 
Okay, so Defender's Crest makes the suicide minions create a temperature over time cloud effects. Brutemaster makes the weavers move and attack faster, and Gubstake uh, Song makes the weavers give you soul when they hit an enemy. Your personal favor. favorite. Yeah, that's pretty good. We gotta go get some charm notches for that to work, though. Because, yeah, that sounds pretty great. And I want to do them. But, yeah, Salubra, Salubra has the notches I seek. Main problem is just getting there. I gotta go get my souls first, I think. I mean, it seems like the little Suicider guys are actually doing a great job. Occasionally, sometimes they do a boatload of damage. Sometimes less so. The hell? I can't see anything through this sometimes. Ugh. I didn't even I didn't even see that big B over here. Yeah, the other thing is, uh, can somebody check to see if minions scale based on your uh your nail damage? Cause I bet they do. We're gonna we're gonna bench warp back. Yeah, the suicide is really good combined with your passive soul regen. They use up soul to spawn, but you gain it back, so you don't have to worry. Okay. Oh, they don't they don't scale based off of your damage. Dang, cause you, it feels like they they should. All right, so let's get rid of these. Let's see. And Grubson makes weavers give you more. Okay. Oh, respecking requires more rancid eggs. Well, that's unfortunate, but understandable. Okay, so we want to do luck until 15. Wisdom until 2. Okay, so we want 6 wisdom. My mouse cursor has disappeared in this, which kind of sucks. There we go. 